Hello, how's it going guys? Um, in this Hot of the Street this Max tutorial, I'm going to show you the world's fastest method how you can model a pillow which can be used into the interior scenes for your arc architectural visualization uh, purposes. Anyway, just to do a re little recap or review, what we're going to do is we're going to create a box. Then gonna, we're going to tessellate the box to be equal of decimated polygons. Then we're going to use cloth modifier to give the box this pillow look. Now, if you're using Autodesk 3 ds Max, you can follow along. Um, so let's get started and uh, replicate the look of the pillow you see on the screen. Anyway, what we're going to do now is I'm going to go to the creation tab and choose box from the, from the menu. Then I'm going to create a box which is similar to the one you see up here. I'm going to go in perspective mode and going to change the length to something like 40. Width is going to be around 60. Height is going to be at 1. If I press T on my keyboard I can tell that uh, it's kind of similar uh, size as the previous one. If I go back it's 4560 so I might want to I just adjust this one to the 45 back again. All right, so what I want to do from here is increase the length segments to something like 40, width segments something to 50, and height segments can be back to the one as uh, from original. So from here, what I can do is I can add a cloth modifier, go into the object properties. Select the box, press it close, and under the pressure, put in here 30, press enter, press OK, and simulate local. So what you will need to do here is you need to press it, and once you're happy with the result, you could click again just to stop the animation. So from here, I'm going to go to the editable poly, choose the edges. Click on this edge, ring it, press connect, then I'm going to go into the extrude, right click it to put it a little bit in, so I want to probably do a little bit of chamfer, chamfer here before I actually do the uh, decrease, so I'm going to do two, connect that. And I'm going to press extrude, put that all in, press OK. And when you add a turbo smooth on top of it, you can see that it gives this nice uh, crease for the pillow and it really looks good from far away. You can even create the seam more tight as you can see in this uh, episode, not the episode but on this model. So you just eliminate the extrude factor and eliminate the chamfer factor. Anyway, so this wraps up the episode how you can create a pillow super fast uh, using Autodesk 3ds Max.